Ladies and gentlemen, for today I've prepared a short presentation about Industry 4.0 and circular economy in chemical industry of the Czech Republic. My name is Oskar Bakesh. Industry 4.0 and circular economy are two new concepts that change the form of the current industry. Industry 4.0 is a concept that involves modern technologies such as the Internet of Things, advanced digitalization and robotics, big data processing, etc. It has the potential to make corporate processes significantly more effective across the entire supply chain. Circular economy is a concept focusing on circulation of material and energy flows in the current market environment. This concept has the potential to decrease the negative impacts of companies and their products on the environment. The paper aims to find out whether Czech chemical companies apply circular economy and industry 4.0 tools whether they already have started implementing one or the other concept or both at once, and whether they perceive mutual support and interconnection of these concepts. The method of a questionnaire survey was chosen for the qualitative research. The basic set included manufacturing companies, members of the Association of Chemical Industry of the Czech Republic. 67 companies were addressed and eight of them sent back completed questionnaires. The questionnaire was sent to the competent staff of the respective companies in April 2021 and the questioning ended in May 2021. So here you can see that the awareness of the, of the parts of the Industry 4.0 concept is quite high. Uh, the most commonly known is digitalization and robotization and 3D printing. Uh, other technologies are a little bit less known, but what I would like to point out the most is probably the lack of knowledge of cyber physical systems, which is a uh, concept that is often described as the cornerstone of implementation of Industry 4.0. So the companies declared that they are not aware of the terms of Industry 4.0 or CE, but later they stated they are implementing their elements. Therefore, this implies that both terms are still not generally known everywhere but some of their elements are. There is a contradiction in the use terminology, a different point of view of researchers and practice. Some of the companies are aware of the term circular economy. They're using strategies to reduce or recycle as they are the most common activities of circular economy. They are using uh, circular economy the most in manufacturing, logistics and maintenance. Two companies stated that they are using a modern Industry 4.0 technology, also contributing to the mitigation of the env environmental impacts of the corporate activity. As an example, the respondent mentioned the use of waste for biogas production, and another way, the respondent introduction of more environmentally friendly manufacturing of their products. The use of waste for biogas production fulfills the concept of a circular economy and the company uses industry 4.0 approach for this activity at the same time. And this is tangible evidence of the fact that these two concepts do not exclude each other and that industry 4.0 elements can be used for implementation of circular economy. So, uh, the outcomes of this research are a good basis for quantitative research, which could identify how much chemical companies are aware of the concepts of Industry 4.0 and circular economy, and into what extent they are being applied. Although the terms have been scientifically described, and these uh, two terms are used in the academic sphere, the practice shows the opposite. There is definitely a gap in perception of these two concepts. Uh, the research our research was focused on the initial identification of utilization of Industry 4.0 and elements of circular economy in the chemical industry, and it has created a basis for another potential research which would analyze the situation in companies in more detail. Uh, it would be of benefit if it assessed selected Industry 4.0 elements or technologies and how the elements help fulfill not uh, just the concept of circular economy, but also, for example, the concept of sustainable development. So that is all from me and thank you for your attention.